Welcome to Menu Matchup, where two culinary teams go head to head in one ultimate challenge. The menu, seven secret ingredients, two amazing dishes, and one hour. The matchup, one home cook with vision loss and one professional chef, bring their skills together to impress a panel of judges. Both you guys were really well done. The pressure is on. Well, the team's blender is just making a mess. It's a race to the finish. I definitely don't know if we're going to make it. Good job, everyone. Good job. On Menu Matchup. Hey, folks. I'm Matt Basile, the host of Menu Matchup. To my left, I have Team Red. And to my right, I have Team Blue. Team Red, good to meet you. Orly, our home cook. Hello. Oh, hello. And <laughs> yeah. you're partnered with Executive Chef Suzanne Barr from the Saturday Dinette. Welcome, yeah. Suzanne. Thank you, thank you, thank Ray you. Ray Rock. Me. Yeah. My partner Absolutely. in crime. Woo. <laughs> Let's get to know Orly a little better. I'm Orly. I have three boys. I'm married. And I love making people happy. And if it's through their stomachs, well, there you go. I've always had a passion for cooking. Being a child of Moroccan parents, food has been a big part of my life. And a lot of people watching me chop get scared. And they're thinking, how could you do that with no vision? I was born with a genetic condition that affects the back of the eye, the retina. Through my younger years, I had some usable vision. And then in my mid-20s to late 30s, it gradually deteriorated to nothing. I have never let anything hold me back. I enjoy zip lining, scuba diving. If it's something I want to do, I find a way to do it. If I won this competition, I would feel so good about myself knowing that I've taken my passion and created something fantastic. I am raring to go. And to my right, we have Team Blue over here. Yolanda, how are you? Good, good. Ready to go. Ready to go. This is good. Ready and you're, you're partnered up with Chef Tobin Coachman from right. Tobin Food by Design. Hello hey. there. We're going to do this. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. Let's but get to know Yolanda a little bit better. My name is Yolanda, and I love cooking because it brings my family together. It gives me a sense of independence and creativity. I'm of Italian background, and my mom inspired me to cook from a very early age. When I saute garlic and onions and just smell those wonderful flavors, it definitely reminds me of being in the kitchen with my mom. When I was 28 years old, I started noticing little spots in front of my eyes and these migraine headaches coming on each and every day. They finally diagnosed me with pseudotumor cerebri. When I completely lost my vision, um, I went into a period of denial. It was uh, a very dark time for me. I was able to move forward when I got help from the Canadian National Institute for the Blind. I realized that I could do so much more, and from there I just pushed myself to make my life as normal as possible. I want to do this to test myself and prove that I can cook just as well as a sighted person, if not even better. The prize for today is for the home cook, trip for two to Niagara on the Lake, a culinary experience brought to you by Vintage Hotels. Nice. Oh, chefs, why don't we make our way back to our cooking stations so I can introduce you to our judges. All right, let's meet our three awesome judges. First, we have Lauren Moser, executive chef and owner of El Cuisine Catering. Hey, Lauren, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Very well, thanks. thanks. for having me. Of course. And then registered dietitian and food blogger, Abby Sharp. Hi, Abby, hey, what's going on? I'm good, I'm excited to be here. All right, and then executive chef, Sean Ernst, Shaw from Flock Catering. How are you, buddy? I'm good. How are you? Very good. Well, good to have you all. All right, so the rules. We have one hour to create two dishes, an app and a main. You have in front of you a crate that has seven ingredients in it. All seven ingredients need to be used, but it can be split between the app and the main. You also have available to you extra ingredients to play with. So in front of you, on the count of three, I'm going to get you to lift those crates so we can see what's inside. Three, two, and one. Okay, so inside those crates, you have beef plank steak, candy cane beets, rainbow chard, triple berry jam, wonton wrappers, parmigiano reggiano cheese, and water chestnuts. All right, teams, now that you see everything in front of you, oh start to think about your recipes and what you're going to put out there. Feel the ingredients, touch them, get used to them, because the clock starts 
fantasy. I've built tricks into everything I do. Seeing doesn't just come from the eyes. I'll shake a container, I'll know what's in it. Oh, they're nice and small. When I saute, I use my sense of smell to see if they're caramelized enough. By feel, by smell, you can gauge a lot of what you're doing. So, Orly, I saw you go right through all that veg prep. Yes. Is it all the knife or is it half you, half knife? Oh, I got muscle, baby. You got muscle. <laughs> well, Suzanne, you're in good hands over here. Yeah. We're on a roll. There's honestly. a doubt in my mind that this woman isn't going to rock it out. Thank you, Team Red. All right. So, Yolanda, I know you said your background is Italian. So, what are some of the, your favorite dishes that you like cooking at home? Pasta, fresh sauces. The recipes have been passed down by my mom. It'll never be like hers, but try your best. Those are big shoes to fill, right? Yes. Oh, the candy cane is beautiful. Okay, blue team, Yolanda and Tobin, how's it going over here, guys? Good, good. Great. So, how are you feeling about the uh, the mystery ingredients and everything you have to work with? I think pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I think we have a great game plan. We're going Asian-inspired for the appetizer, which is a lot of my background, and yeah. beautiful northern Italian yeah. for the main. So, we've kind of done a split between both of the influences that we have in our lives. Yolanda, I see some yes. bright collars coming off your station, yes. and you're using a mandolin right now. Do you I have am. any tips with that? Um, just to be very very, very careful. It's a very sharp blade. My sense of touch tells me if I'm in danger. And obviously, when I get to the end, I try to stop because it can get dangerous. Being safe in the kitchen is very important, especially because I'm visually impaired. So my trick is to always have my fingers be my guide when I'm using the blades. Well, the colors are so bright and vibrant. So I'm excited <laughs> to see what you yeah, come up with, okay? Yeah, for sure. All right, Team Blue, thanks so much. I'll be Probably. back, okay? Yep. Yeah. Sean, so I've gone to see both teams now. How would you approach this kind of competition? I would do exactly what a lot of the teams are doing today. Get the harder ingredients out of the way, work together, and just keep pushing, pushing, pushing. All right, teams, we are at the halfway mark. We are 30 minutes away from turning in your plates. How are you doing over there? Good? <laughs> I'm good. Awesome. I'm just rolling the stick rolling. on the steamers right now. We're making the pot stickers because it works so well with something very quick. We can pan fry them. Ground beef is definitely a filling that you would kind of sometimes traditionally expect. And I think throwing in the water chestnuts as well as the Swiss chard for color will bring it all together perfectly. So what I'm doing over here on my side is I'm just warming the dumplings. I am taking the wonton wrapper. I'm making a really nice bright filling with some roasted wild mushroom, water chestnuts, some scallions, ginger, garlic, sesame, and soy. Looking at the time, and I think I'm gonna get started right after this on cooking the steak. I really didn't realize how fast an hour can go. We wanna give that steak enough time to sort of cook and rest. Yeah. I'm almost done the vegetables here. So give a taste to this berry with me. Tell me what you think. Uh, ooh, I was thinking about some soy, some poison. Kind of make it, yeah, 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 make it more Listen, Asian-y. Cool. Judges, what are you thinking from Team Ride right now? Uh, we're under 20 minutes. I may want to start kicking things into high gear. Did you hear that? We're yes. going to get into high gear. All right, I'm going to go check the vegetables. All right, I'm flipping the vegetables. Okay. Going back into the oven with them, okay? Yep. We're doing really good, but this clock is ticking away, and I am feeling it for real now. All right, teams, we are 10 minutes away from turning in your dishes. Okay, bye. 10 minutes. We are going to do it. I have not heard yet meat hitting a pan. Yeah. So are you getting a little worried about the flank steak? <laughs> Very worried about that. Yeah. Oh, I hear that sizzle. Steak, steak is on, steak. which is good. I was getting a little worried, you know? <laughs> The last 10 minutes is where you really lose time because you're just thinking about plating and have I cooked everything through? You don't want to just throw things on plates because as soon as they come to the judges and we taste it, we're going to know things aren't cooked. Oh my god, we didn't use Swiss chard. I did, I put oh, it in good the girl. This is my fry pan right here. Yeah. I still have to saute my Swiss chard. Frank, thank you, Zen, okay? Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Smells fantastic, Joanna. Is this on? I think this turned off again. I'm trying to saute the vegetables. The burner keeps turning off and we're running out of time. If you haven't started to think about your planning, now is the time to do it. Welcome back to Menu Matchup. With less than five minutes left, both teams kick it into high gear. It's a frenzy of sizzling, tasting, and plating. So, so, so don't tell me I'm just talking to myself. Okay. Try the cauliflower puree. Let me know if it needs any seasoning. It's a little bit wild.
watery. Can we put something to tighten it up a little? Maybe some breadcrumbs? I got some breadcrumbs here. Do we have any more parmesan? Yes. Lemon, 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 where are you? I'm plating the pot stickers, okay? Go ahead, baby. And I'm plating the lettuce wraps right now. We got three minutes. Got it? I got it. Garnish, garnish, garnish. Yeah. Never garnish too much. No. Well, as long as we uh, have the time to. And dos. I'm just talking to myself. Maybe just use it as garnish, or are we throwing them in there? Maybe we can do a really hot saute of them right okay. now. Cider vinegar, yeah. a little bit of honey, okay. and then it'll make for a really nice garnish on the steak. Okay. Right behind you, yes. checking on those veggies. Here. Look here, great. That'll be the last component that we need okay. to bring it all together. Honey, and then a little bit of cider vinegar. I'm taking the flank stick out, let it rest. That steak just made it out of the pan. So I don't know how it's going to rest properly. Can we throw that berry jam into something? Yeah, I got it into the vinaigrette. Where's that here, knife? Here. Fabulous, here's the knife. Teams are at just under a minute. Just under a minute to turn in your plate. Okay, so we've got some curry going down. Did the steak. I cut the steak. I'm just doing the veggies. Nice. The steak going down on a plate. Yeah, well, it looks nice, medium rare, so it's great. <laughs> I think we have 30 seconds, so... This is just a garnish? Yeah, I have the rest of it plated up. Okay. Brussels aren't totally done? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to pull those out. Can I get it? No, I got it. Where's that salt at? We will just do some lemon zest. All right, we are 10 seconds away. 10 seconds away, team. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Yeah. Five, four, three. You did great. Yeah, you did really everything. Amazing. It's all right. Well done. Well done, teams. Hug it out. Wow. Hug it out. Team Blue, you know, I was stressed for you guys. Yolanda, you guys just seem so calm. I it's was... uh, nervous energy, and I keep it cool under the camera. She, she really did the majority of the, the prep work, all the vegetables and everything, and she just li literally left me to do a few pot stickers and some steaks. So she yeah, so you just barely showed up partner. for this. this is I, barely showed up. I barely well, showed up. I barely showed up. congrats, team. You got a great-looking set you. of dishes right here, okay? Thank you. Red team, hey. well done. Hey. Anxious, but good. Nervous, okay. like you were like, did I do oh. it right? Or nervous, like, what are the judges oh. going to think about my food? A little bit of both. A little bit of both. <laughs> I think I did a good job. I know I did a good job. And That's we, right. you know what? We made such a great team. Congratulations, Team Red. We're going to bring our food over to the judges. Okay. We're going to see what they think. Time to start judging. All right, blue team, we brought our plates to the judges' table. Let's dig in and see what you think. Here, Yolanda, tell me about what you did today. For our appetizer, we did colorful vegetable summer salad with the uh, candy beets and hot stickers with wild mushroom and water chestnuts. And for our main, we did pan sear marinated uh, flank steak, a puree of cauliflower, and we used the rainbow Swiss chard seared with olive oil and garlic. Nice, bold flavors. The Swiss chard, was that done in any kind of sauce. Touch of cider vinegar, lemon zest. Uh, Yolanda incorporated a bunch of garlic, olive oil, salt, pepper. It just tastes so fresh and clean. We didn't want to mask it. Really love the flavors of the pot stickers. It was very well seasoned. I love how it's still nice and soft with the crispy edges. Steak, I could have used a bit more salt on mine. Um, that salad was so nice and fresh. I love the fennel, that licorice flavor is absolutely amazing. I loved the filling of those pot stickers. It had a nice bright acidity to it. Um, I will say mine was a little bit on the soggy side. I would have liked maybe a little bit more texture. So I agree with everything that's been said thus far. Uh, pot stickers are seasoned perfectly. The salad on top is nice and fresh. I would have perhaps seasoned the salad a bit more heavily. And my favorite part was the char. The two different textures and two different layers of flavor, I guess, that you got from the stem and, and the softer leaves was re really great. Thanks so much, guys. Blue team, great job. You put some amazing food on your plate today. You should be super proud. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. See you later. Team Red, congratulations. You've put together an app and a main using seven secret ingredients. I couldn't yeah. tell what was cooking the food. The flames are your passion. <laughs> like it was wild. Okay, so judges, why don't you dig in there and let us know what you think, okay? All right.
right. So what did you guys put together for the judges? We have a lettuce wrap stuffed with um, sautéed peppers, red and yellow. And it has an Asian sauce. But then you also have some pot stickers that go with the lettuce wraps. Yeah, so in the pot stickers, we actually used two of the main ingredients, water chestnuts, as well as the stems of the Swiss chard. Sean's on his head. Uh, that's always a good sign. Now it's time to talk about your main, what you did yes. there, Orly. I started off by boiling the quinoa in a chicken base broth. Yeah. And then I made a topping, caramelized onions, slivered almonds, and raisins. And then I roasted vegetables. I'm seeing more smiles, more nods. Sean, what are you thinking down there? Uh, I loved both of them. I really like your use of the special ingredients, the water chestnuts, the stems of the chard. Not a lot of people use those. They put them aside, but great using them. really like the spices that you put into the quinoa. It goes really well with the steaks and the sweetness from the caramelized onions. All right, Abby, your plate's pretty much cleaned off. Yeah, I'm so, so excited. Like, I really like the juxtaposition between the fried, more decadent pot sticker and then the like super fresh uh, lettuce wrap. The quinoa, so I like the sweetness of those raisins and the nice crunch from those almonds. And the steak is really flavorful, but I just think it's a little bit tough. But overall, really tasty dish. And Lauren, what about you? The pot sticker is nice and rich in flavor, from the beef um, to the veg inside to the sauce on top, and really nice and crisp. The veg was cooked at different times, obviously, but it didn't necessarily bother me. But I do realize that we are missing beets here. I don't yeah. think any of us got got any of the beets oh man the beets are missing oh yeah. no they missed an ingredient they were all there i know i know and it was our mystery it just didn't make it up Ugh. team red thank, thank you so much yeah. i hope that doesn't screw us up judges we've had a lot of food to eat and four plates from two different teams lots to talk about it's gonna yeah, be really tough, gonna be tough we need to figure out who won this competition welcome back to menu matchup Culinary trips provided exclusively by Prince of Wales Hotel, part of Vintage Hotels. That was a great competition. I know the judges had a really hard time coming up with a, a winner, but ultimately we have one. So the winner today's competition is Team Blue. A culinary trip for two to Niagara on the Lake by Vintage Hotels. Awesome. Woo! Congratulations. Thank you. Are you bringing me? Are we going? When are we packing? Uh, when are we going? I'll ask my husband first. How's that? That's breaking my heart. Yeah. Breaking my heart. I am feeling ecstatic. I'm just so happy I was partnered up with Tobin. I'm happy for Yolanda. She's been a real inspiration to me. Woo! We won. Yeah. All right. All right, well, big congrats to the blue team, and thank you so much for joining us today, red team. Judges, yeah. you were awesome. Until yeah. next time on Menu Matchup, we'll see you then. I know those dishes were fantastic. Suzanne was an incredible partner. We are going to get together again and cook this. Yes, we are. Yes. <laughs> Host, Matthew Basile. Executive producers, Drew Scott, Jonathan Silverscott. Executive producer, Josie Creamy. Producer director, Cheryl Zalameda. Production manager, Carolyn Sandler. Associate producer, Danielle Pizarek. Director of photography, Andrew Baxter. Editor, Ted Wallace. For Accessible Media Inc., integrated described video consultant, Simone Cupid. Development and production executive, Andrew Morris. Vice President, Programming and Production, John Melville. NAMI Original Production.